Uh, so thanks for joining us for this Quebec uh, Success Stories meeting for PHE Canada. I'm uh, Sylvie Baudouin, professor at the Université de Sherbrooke and the uh, Quebec representative on the board for PHE Canada. As you might know, Quebec was one of the few provinces in Canada in which students returned to school as soon as May 11th. Uh, elementary schools outside of the Montreal area have been open uh, to face-to-face -face teaching with students for six weeks now. Uh, so we are pleased to have some physical education and health teachers from the province of Quebec with us today. Uh, they will share their stories uh, with face-to-face -face PE in the current COVID context. So I will let them uh, introduce uh, themselves. So do you want to start, Jessica? Yes, yeah, sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Jessica. I'm uh, from Sherbrooke, teaching ele in elementary school. I have uh, T TSA, we call uh, that in French. It's a um, class from uh, autism class, seven uh, class of them, and also a class of uh, regular students. So uh, I'm at the St. Anne School. Hi, I'm uh, David Lizotte. I'm uh, in the elementary in the Saint Louis Saint Louis Gonzague in uh, Drummondville. We have there uh, here we have a program, a multi-sport program. So uh, kids have like one uh, phys ed class per day. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dave Morin. I teach at the uh, Ecole Jardin des Lacs in uh, Saint Denis de Brampton, which is a rural um, school uh, in uh, uh, the Sherbrooke area. I have uh, kindergarten to uh, grade six students. Um, that's about it. So we're going to start with the first question. Uh, could you please tell us how was your experience with the return uh, of face-to-face -face PHE in your school? So maybe Jessica, you want to start first and then we'll go with Dave. Turns out to be uh, very great, very fun. Uh, at first I was completely nervous about coming back to school and uh, I was coming back also from a pregnancy leave and at first I was working there for only two months and working again with another substitute teacher from the, the other substitute teacher. So it was uh, very challenging to find a way to, to schedule all the déplacement. <laughs> Transition. Yeah, the transition with, uh, with the class, uh, we are lucky to have our PAE class outside. So uh, everybody has uh, the same schedule as usually. We just change uh, the way we transition with the group and uh, with creative ideas and uh, lots of uh, good solution, we manage to do it very well. Thanks, Jessica. Dave, how about you? For, um, for myself, uh, things went pretty well. Uh, the fact that we had smaller groups was a, a, a very interesting thing uh, to connect with the students. Uh, the biggest challenge was to work without any proper equipment. We, we were limited due to the fact that we can't exchange things such as, let's say, a frisbee or a ball. Or, so that was the biggest challenge. But we were creative, as Jessica said, um, I uh, have two other co co-workers, so that helped a lot. We exchanged our ideas. Um, the amazing weather that we had for the last six weeks helped a lot. Uh, maybe one day or two days of rain, that's about it. So we had either to stay inside in the classroom or uh, we had access to the hockey rink, which is uh, nearby uh, the, the school. But um, the things that, the thing maybe uh, that was a little bit, more complicated or uh, we, we were not able to do team sports, especially with the uh, older students, uh, let's say grade five, six or four even. Um, so that was uh, a little more complicated, but uh, no things went uh, pretty well. I was nervous at first, uh, as Jessica said, but uh, the kids were great and uh, they were well prepared. Uh, so, uh, so, we, so that helped to calm, calm us down a lot. So uh, it was quite a challenge at first, uh, like I think like uh, Jess and Dave said that like before to know the rule when we, uh, when we heard about it, it was kind of a little bit scary. We don't know, always got new rules and uh, coming on. But after that, um, uh, even at first we, we thought we would, we would uh, not be able to do the phys ed. So after that, it's like, yeah, you can do it. So finally, we have uh, we were able to do the phys ed class like one uh, period every day. So it was a good challenge, but um, it was for us. It was 
kind of easy and in a certain way because uh, actually normally when we get in May and June, I'm outside. So we have to do every class outside and we were pretty lucky with the weather. Only uh, we got like maybe only one class inside, everything else was outside. So uh, we did lots of individual, individual thing like um, workout. Uh, we work a lot on sprint, on the run. Uh, and I run a lot with the soccer ball. So uh, the kids get better with their feet as we can attach the, the ball with the, uh, with the, at the end and I make uh, lots of different games with uh, soccer, passing, dribbling, uh, shooting, and uh, make a lots of different things like um, soccer deck or our baby foot, we make a baby foot rink. Uh, we did like a tic-tac-toe uh, soccer. We make a lots of different games uh, with this. Thanks a lot, David. Um, now for the second question. Uh, if you can just name one, what are you most proud of with respect to PhD in the current environment? So maybe we want to start with Dave now, just to mix things up. <laughs> the most proud of is maybe the way the, uh, we adapt ourselves, uh, me and my coworkers. Uh, as I said, uh, we shared a lot, and uh, we also have a group in Sherbrooke, which uh, people were posting their ideas, so that helped uh, a lot uh, in many ways. I uh, was able to, uh, to, to, to stick a little bit to my plan, track and field, uh, skipping rope, survival activities. I have a wood uh, nearby the school. So uh, uh, things went uh, pretty well, and um, yep. Thanks, Dave. And what about you, Jessica? On my side, I was amazed about uh, how the student was open-minded to learn new things and try. They didn't have any expectation, so it was easy to incorporate a different notion about health and uh, come back also to the basic of the motor skills. So we work a lot of different things, the varieties of the activities we could offer. Um, like I said, before that happened, when you just jump in, it comes up. Like the first week, I was like, what am I going to do with them? And after, it was like a pop, 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 popping. And just also with listening to our student you have in front of you, they, they, they give you idea. And if I can tell for one activity, it was really fun. We did a, a huge a treasure hunt. Uh, we uh, did it on pirates. It was uh, for first and, and second year. And they, they, um, they were learning about different uh, sports skills with every character. The pirates and after they had adventure to do. So we practiced that for four uh, different class. And after we mixed all together in a map and they have to go everywhere on the side of the school and the other school um also and walk with their map and find their self and do all the adventure to have to uh, find a little treasure so that was one of the great uh, experience experience and activity we did what about you david uh it's kind of the same thing that david and jessica said like the uh the, the adaptation once again like that the Physical educator uh, teacher can uh, can adapt themselves to what uh, we got. Uh, the team the team teaching here we were uh, were used to have like 26 students for one teacher, and because of the ratio, we were in team teaching for 24 students. So basically, one teacher for 12 uh, students. So it's making uh, making small station uh, easier. And uh, pretty like like uh, we uh, we are lucky enough here uh, to have a new um, deck hockey uh, rink in the school, so I was able to divide it in kind of a baby foot or hockey zone, uh, soccer zone, so uh, every student got like their zone, they're playing to the, each other, so it was like a, able to do a team sport, cooperation, and uh, they were able to keep, uh, to look like a team, uh, like a team sport, but they were everybody in the zone, so we have to, uh, to communicate with each other, and uh, the kids just, just love the game, so it's a game that we're going to uh, we're gonna be able to keep over the over the time as everything is there and it's pretty good. So, so all of you created new ideas that you're gonna keep 
further on because it uh, created new ways of uh, teaching, which is, I think it's very interesting and impressive. Uh, last question, but not least, um, if you had a piece of advice for a PhD teacher who returns to face-to-face -face in the fall, what would you say to them? Jessica, do you want to start this time? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm still afraid and I, I'll be until uh, I jump back in for sure. But when, one thing I can say is be prepared. I have a plan A, B, C, D and even an I because sometimes you got to improvise and pair, pair up with some other school, make small communities, share, share idea. Maybe some teacher can have something great and you can improve from it and just had on. And also it could be um, physically and mentally challenging. Um, you, you get to eat well and sleep well, <laughs> be prepared to work. And keep in mind it's just a temporary uh, situation because uh, it helps to keep a, a positive mind. Yeah, that will be my advice. Thank you. I'll jump into David and finish with Dave. Nice. Uh, same for, uh, like Jessica saying, it's okay to share uh, lots of idea, like I was saying, like the deck hockey idea come with the, the sharing Facebook on the FEPEC and uh, we also have back on Jonaville our, our Facebook for a physical educator. So when you see idea, you can say, yes, I can do that. Or you, you have another idea from there. So we help a lot and it's to go forward because I know even like a uh, Back in Drummondville, from a school to the other, it was different. Uh, here we are in sports, so uh, our director was pretty uh, forward to keep the, the phys ed, and uh, that was good. But other school, you can go also say, yes, you can do phys ed, it's important. And to go, it's like, yeah, we, we find some idea, we find something, we, we're going to add up to it. And uh, trust yourself, just trust yourself and go ahead to, to adapt again and find a new idea. Thank you. And Dave, your advice? Well, what more can I say, David, and just uh, sum it up? Uh, maybe trust yourself. Uh, the kids will adapt for sure. And um, share a little sharing communities uh, like we have in Sherbrooke. It's, uh, it's uh, really helpful. Maybe uh, find schools that, that have the same environment as you have so that you can uh, share and uh, talk. And um, yeah. Be prepared and be, uh, be prepared to adapt yourself. Yeah. Thanks a lot uh, for uh, everyone for sharing your stories. If, do you want to add something uh, else, uh, a message to the PhD community or because we still have five minutes to go? Maybe I'll say something. It's just, uh, I, I think all P, PE teacher, we want to still uh, improve ourselves. Uh, we are easy to adapt, but uh, if you are already avid in your art, like, uh, and there's nothing to stop you. Like, uh, there is going to be sun everywhere if you, if you have it already in your heart. Uh, just maybe with, uh, for Sylvie, if ever you want to uh, need to share like the video, that, that little game that I create, I, uh, I share it with the uh, other phys ed teacher and we first, I share it on the FEPEC Facebook. So if ever you got like a Facebook for, uh, uh, for a PHE in Canada, I can do it too. So just uh, communicate with me and I will be able to uh, share the video that might give an uh, idea to others uh, to start to start from somewhere. Helen, you have uh, written that out. <laughs> Dave, do you want to add something? Ça va bien aller. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, so that, that's it for the meeting.